All right, welcome to Minimum Wage Pen Reviews, I suppose. That's what I'm going to call this thing. And today I'll be looking at this Daiso fountain pen that costs two whole American dollars. Now, the first thing I should say about this pen is that it's it feels very cheap. It feels like this could break any, any second. But it's surprisingly durable. It's pr surprisingly durable. As uh, you can see me just tossing this thing around, I, I'm just using this uh, on and off, not really caring what I do with this, a nice toss away pen, right? But it's survived all my, all my pen inflict hardship, so I think for now, it stands the test of time. I've had it for maybe four, five, six months, I forget. I, I wasn't really thrilled when I got this. This is the pen that got me the fountain pens. This started me down a road that has cost me so much money just so much money wasted because of this kind of cheap crappy pen but despite what I'm saying about it right now I actually quite like it so I don't know if you can see this but it comes in a medium nib and the nib itself is actually you know kind of silky smooth it's not well <laughs> I shouldn't say silky smooth it's like it's really toothy it it's almost scratchy um, just how cheap this is <laughs> like no but uh, it, it's like a platinum nib like the extra fine platinum nib is a bit smoother than this in my opinion you can you could really feel the page with this daiso fountain pen but hey that's not necessarily a bad thing and i actually kind of enjoy it so here are some writing samples um again this is a medium nib this is it this, is, this first line is me writing with the feet up, so this is actually quite a fine line. This is very comparable to the extra fine Platinum Preppy. Uh, this is it written as God intended you to write with it, with the feet down, you heathens. Uh, it's, it's very fine. To, just to compare it, this is a medium Twisby Echo nib. Uh, it, it's much more finer, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so there's that Twisby Echo. This is a 1.1 millimeter stub, Lamy Safari. Much more finer, and in my opinion, it this is much more smoother. And like this is probably the 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 least smooth of all the pens here listed here. And this is besides this one, the Pilot Metropolitan CM nib. This is like a like writing with two pieces of metal lubricated with ink. It it doesn't feel good when <laughs> you write on it, but um. I guess aside from that, this this is the really not the least smooth writing experience, but it's it's very durable. Look at all the scratches I have on the on the grip. I don't know if I can focus on that. You know, just like me tossing this thing around, not not caring for it. Uh, yeah, it, it's a uh, for two dollars, right? It, it it's not that bad. It, it really isn't that bad. And I I paid in Canadian <laughs> but uh, this is the cartridge just, let me show you just the inside of this pen oh jeez doing this with one hand and on a, on a phone as in <laughs> uh, this review is living up to its name the minimum, minimum wage review okay I cannot open this up I'm gonna ink all over the side of my hand uh, well I'm using the cartridge that you can get from Daiso and, and this color blue is actually not not terrible it's it's a blue that leans like purple it's like a purple blue or blue black <laughs> i'm not sure it's definitely not a compecky it's it's definitely not not black i don't even know what the the black that platinum cartridges use is it platinum black i don't know but um decent pen with a kind of scratchy feel here let me just give you a writing uh example so let me let me see let me see if you can okay so
<sighs> so the, my, the ink on my hand is smudging on this rodeo dot pad. And this is just a little poem that I that I that I made that I like writing out. It has a, it has a nice cadence, I think. A very yeah, it's it's an iambic too, so it's it's fun to say. But um, you could I hope that the camera picked up on how audible it is on the page, and and you really do feel the page. And this is on good paper. If you write on really crappy paper, right, this this thing feathers like mad. This is not something you want to use on like cheap school papers. So you got, you got to find something decent at the very least, um, or else maybe it's the ink. The ink just feathers really bad. But the, this also writes kind of it, it puts down a very wet line in my opinion, and it's you really won't get any shading out of this. At least not this ink. But um, yeah, it's it's a very wonderful two dollar. <laughs> experience it's like the mcdonald's of of fountain pens but it will last you much longer than that and you probably won't feel bad after after using it eating it however it might be inadvisable but yeah this is part of my collection it's it's here to stay i'll use it at work or something or when i decide to finally sell all my pens in order to feed myself or something like that but that's all for today